Hi guys, you kind of tagged me in the secret diary of a YouTube tag. I'm pretty sure I did one similar a few years ago, but as always, there's different questions, so I thought I'd jump on the tag wagon and answer these questions for you. Question one, how long have you been doing YouTube? It will be three years this November. It was 6th of November 2011 that I uploaded my first video. I just decided to film, filmed one and put it up on that date. So yeah, it'll be three years this November and I can't believe it's been that long already. Question two, at what point will you start? I don't know. I've just had a recent break and I missed filming too much. So not in the near future, but I don't know. It depends how long I'm relevant for. I don't know whether I'll be doing this when I'm like 40 or when I have kids or even, you know, next month. You don't know what's going to happen, but as long as I'm still enjoying it, if there's a point where this just feels like too much of a chore, I will either just take a break like I've done or I will stop, but I can't see me stopping anytime soon, but at the same time, I don't know if I'll be still here in another three years. Question three, what is the best thing about YouTube? I would say it's the community. It's the reason why I do it. I like watching people's videos and having conversations with them about the products they're talking about and people will have conversations with me. It's just that kind of, it is the community vibe of it that I do it. If I did filmed videos and there was no comments, I don't think I'd do it. It's the interactions below that sort of makes me wanna do videos. Question four, what is the worst thing, what do I do to make it okay? I, I would have to say it's the hate on YouTube. I haven't received anything personal that's like upset me, but I've had the odd comment like, you look like a clown. And I remember this one video where I had red cheeks and within like the first 45 seconds, I explained, I'm sat in front of a radiator, therefore I have red cheeks. This isn't blush. And then someone actually wrote, you look like a clown. I'm like, you blatantly didn't even go 45 seconds into the video. And then I clicked on their profile, went to their page and then realized they just hate on a load of other people as well. So like, ah, oh, this is not just me. Um, I think when it's not personal, therefore you can just like brush it off. I don't mind constructive criticism at all. Like, I've had people, and they're ever so sweet. They're like, they'll put, I really, 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 really like you, but please put it, or they'll, they'll just mention something. They're trying to make it sound really nice, which is fine. But I think it's because you can read things really wrong. So when people are doing constructive criticism, the ones I've had are like really nice and they're trying not to offend me and they're not offending me but they're really really trying not to and because like little things you, you can't get what people are putting across on words on words typing so I do think some you know as much as sensitive you are some things could look a bit bad but not so I've had nothing personal um, and the only thing I do to I just ignore it I completely ignore it because I imagine haters will write things down and they just sat there like ready for the response or they'll come back from like work if they work log on to the computer and they're like, oh, who's replied to me? Who's replied to all my hate comments? And you haven't and they're like, oh. I don't know. I think it's just like, I don't fuel the fire, but yeah, completely ignore them. I think as big, I think because I'm older, I find that easier. I mean, if I was like an 18 year old, 19 year old, I'd probably completely retaliate. But like I said, I've had nothing like majorly offensive. So yeah, just ignore them. How many thumbnail options do you usually take? Um, I used to <laughs> forget. And um, I remember YouTube used to just give you three options. It like randomly pick faces. So if I got some like, oh, oh, oh that would be like my thumbnail option. But um, now what I tend to do, I've got a tip from Kyla, is at the end, I keep the video rolling and I just like hold a few products up and go, and then I'll swap sides and go, and then point sometimes, because I'm thinking I can put a speech bubble above it. So it takes me about 30 seconds, really. And that's about it. YouTube crush, oh. Oh, there's so many. I think at the moment I've been going through a massive Tati phase. Um, Tati from Garden Life Guru. I absolutely love her. There's something with her voice. It's so soothing. And I could just, she is one of those people that I could just listen to her all day. I could just watch. For the last two months I've just been watching like, all her old videos. Absolutely love her. She uploads five times a week, which is great. But she's one of those people that I can just like put on. Because I generally watch YouTube when I'm doing my makeup in the morning or... Yeah, I suppose if there's absolutely nothing on TV, I'll sit and watch YouTube. But it's generally while I'm getting ready or I've been watching a few hours today while I've been like doing some housework but it's usually background people um so yeah Tati absolutely love her and also Amarix Amarix is that how you say it's um I have no idea what her name is Alison that's it she also does Alison vlogs absolutely love her voice as well but I suppose my major crush that I've had for years or just well someone I absolutely love listening to is Words of a Reader she is a booktuber from Australia and Every book she talks about I want to read, every book review she does, I just absolutely love her videos, she really makes me want to read and sorry Leslie if I don't comment on your videos all the time it's because generally you are on while I'm like brushing my hair or doing my eyeliner so I can't like, actually type but yeah go check out Words of Reader if you are into reading or want to get into reading just go check out Leslie she's absolutely gorgeous and I love her voice. Who's on my collab wish list? 
Hmm, that's a tricky one. <laughs> one person I was thinking about the other day. I've not actually filmed a video with Kaz yet, so I've done like a group video and me and Kaz happen to be in it. Um, but no, I've not done an actual collaboration video with Kaz, so she's on my list for sure because I'd rather film with people that are actually friends with, like when I film with Kyla. I generally go around for the whole day, man, I'll drop her from the morning and I'll pick me up like later on in the afternoon after work when I've booked the day off and we'll just like just have a laugh all day and maybe film some videos or maybe not film some videos but yeah generally my friends so probably Sparklicious again, Kaz for sure um, oh I can't think of any others at the moment off the top of my head but probably yeah just my friends I'm Emma, I've filmed a couple of Emma but I haven't done one with Emma for a while so she's on my collab list again and just generally people like that but I think I'd be too intimidated to film with like the Pixie Woo sisters but you know, if they wanted to give me a makeover in a video I can as a collab and I'd be happy to do that what am I wearing on my bottom half? I'm actually wearing jeans and slippers and it's generally what I film in. I never film my pyjamas. I'm one of those people that I used to when I was a teenager in the early 20s. I would just wear my pyjamas all day but I don't know what it is. It, you know, your parents always tell you to like get dressed and all this kind of stuff. As I'm getting older I realise I can't lounge in my pyjamas because it makes me feel really, really lazy. So I just put jeans on because they are, they are my comfy clothes. So yeah, I wear jeans and generally slippers. I'm generally dressed whenever you see me film. How long until I actually click record? It depends on the video. If it's like a monthly favourite, it could be like... Oh, I was going to say about 10 minutes, but no, not really, because I'd have to sit and do my... If I haven't got my makeup on already from work, if I'm filming in the morning kind of thing, I'd have to do my makeup, like I've just spent 20 minutes doing my makeup now. It sounds long, but it's because I was watching Keeping Up The Kardashians at the same time. Um, and then I'd get all my products out, so it could be anywhere between half an hour to five minutes. Like, once I've just done my makeup now, I just put the camera there and then press record and went. So, like between 5 minutes and 30 minutes depending on like if I've got to put on makeup and got to get a lot of products together. They're the worst videos where you've got to get your, your, like, your monthly favourites and I've got to go around the bathroom and get all my products. It's fine to do that but then just put them away afterwards. How do you feel about the YouTube community and culture? Like I said before I absolutely love it. Generally the, for the most part it's absolutely amazing. I would say it's 99% great, 1% the hate but no honestly it's absolutely brilliant. It's nice to just be able to go on Twitter, just chat to people. I've had conversations with people for like the last three years talk to people in Australia, talk to people in America, it's just, it's just really fun, like I can just go on to, if I'm bored one night or there's like, well I've gone to the pub or he's like playing football, I just nip onto Twitter, either chat to my friends or just chat to anyone and I like the fact that I can just go on and say, anyone recommend a mascara and I get loads of comments back and I just like it, it's just like my little girly time out zone because when I generally hang out with boys and they don't talk about makeup so I reserve all of it for Twitter so it's like my fun little secret friendship groups, that sounds really really lame. What's your secret to a successful YouTube channel? Channel? I don't know. I don't have one. <laughs> um, I don't know what is success. I don't have. <laughs> I've not even reached 5,000 subscribers, so I wouldn't say I'm successful. But I would say. I don't know. Well, yeah. I would say, number one, make sure you enjoy it, because I think it, it comes across that you're just utterly, I don't know, miserable. Not that I ever see, you don't see miserable people. And saying that, there are a few miserable people, but I love them. It's like, they're, they're, that's their persona. I absolutely just love, like, people are just like, Chelsea wears, I would say she's miserable, but that kind of attitude, love it. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I would say, make sure you enjoy it first. Don't force it, which is why I needed to have a break, because it that was forcing it. It was just, I was struggling to find time, and therefore I was, like, rushing. And so, yeah, enjoy it. Consistency. And... I think it's just like a, a longevity thing, just keep doing it because a lot of the big YouTubers out there, it depends if, that, if that's your aim to get big, they've been doing it for a long time, unless they've been mentioned by a few, you know, higher up people, a lot of them have been doing it for a few years, I'm like Zoella been doing it for six years, S Walker Makeup, she was doing it for like six years, kyla has been doing it for four years, there's a lot of people that have been doing it for years and years, so I would say just, you know, enjoy it and just keep doing it, and then eventually you'll get there, so hopefully one day I'll get there, not that I'm rushing. Not that I actually care, I'm just happy. If I kept you 4,000 and never grew, I'd be happy as long as like I had the same people that were talking to me all the time, you know. So, what is success? Who do I tag? I will leave it below because I'm pretty sure half the people that I would tag have already been tagged, so I will leave a list below, and if you do it, let me know, and I will gladly watch. Bye!